I realize that the degree to which I heal and integrate, the better my relationships get. And it's very interesting, too, because, I mean, it's also just like my relationship with myself. Something that I want to look at here is integration. And when I say integration, I'm referring to back in childhood when I abandoned parts of myself, when I neglected parts of myself, right? And this is very interesting, too, because, like, I'm realizing that, you know, I, as I heal, like, I'm, I'm watching it happen for myself. Um, so many things are changing. I'm seeing things differently, drastically differently than I ever have before in my life. Like, night and day, literally. So, the deeper I go with healing and integrating, the better I get as a person, the better my life gets, the better my relationships get. And, you know, there are a lot of things I realize that I kind of, like, disowned or abandoned or neglected when I was younger, in childhood. Um, and I'm really starting to, like, look more at uh, balance, really. I mean, uh, right? Just like, just uh, balance is what it's all about. Um, having a healthy sense of self, a healthy, balanced, um, integrated sense of self, right? And, you know, it's so interesting, too, because there are things that I grew up with, um, you know, kind of like neglecting them uh, with different ideas for what they were just like pushing them away and stuff and listening to people that I called friends. <laughs> Not. Um, you know, listening to people that I called friends tell me who I was or what I was doing or whatever I was doing, it was stupid or absurd or weird or ridiculous. And, you know, we, we really, we, we lose ourselves when, uh, oftentimes when we're younger in survival, um, we, we abandon, we abandon ourselves. Um, you know, if, if we're, if we're not instilled with seriously high positive self-esteem, um, we're basically just going to be looking for external validation. And in that we're not going to be, um, we're not going to be with ourselves. That's just the reality of it. Um, so, you know, I, I really, as I heal, I'm starting to realize that there are many levels to healing, to integrating, to uh, self-refining, right? Getting more specific with the self. The more specific I get with myself, the more I realize just how clear everything is, right? Um... Previously, before healing, I was all over the place, you know? There was chaos, there was drama, there was unpredictability, everything, all that stuff. And the closer I get to my healing and uh, self-integration, just the more I realize what this all means, truly. And it's, 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 a, really, it's a really cool journey. Um... I just, I really, I really like this aspect of balance that I'm approaching now. Um, you know, not too much that way, not too much that way. It's just right in between, right in the middle, right? Like just, you know, not, 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 not too much that side, not too much that side, just, just right in the middle. And that's what it's all about. Um, which is making me realize that previously my life was very much out of balance because I would starve myself too much of a certain thing and, you know, I don't know, uh, consume way too much of another thing. Um, but it's just so interesting right now because, like, I'm looking at healing and integration and I'm really asking myself how far I want to go with this. And... This is an era of my life where I recognize that I just have to be sincere with myself. Um, and just, you know, like, understand that whatever it is that I want, I just have to be real about it. That's, that's really what it is. Um, 
you know, be honest with myself. One of the most important things is to be gentle with myself. Gen uh, gentleness is definitely key here. Previously, I was very hard on myself. Um, I have, in the past, expected change to happen overnight. It does not happen overnight because, you know, for me to get to a point where I was five years ago, right, it took uh, 28 years to get there. So doesn't happen overnight you know our our thoughts our feelings our beliefs our behaviors they are very much hardwired it takes time um and i'm just looking at it in the sense that i really want to take this to the best level possible um healing and integrating is absolutely important to me um i'm already becoming less and less attracted to things that I previously was attracted to, which is a really cool thing. And I honestly, <laughs> before even healing, before even starting healing, I didn't think that that was actually going to happen. Um, I'm starting to become more attracted to things that I wasn't previously attracted to, and I'm starting to become less attracted to things that I was previously attracted to. Um, so it's really cool to see myself starting to get healthy. Um... Allowing myself to be a space of safety. For, and that, that's the interesting thing, too. Um, allowing myself to be a space of safety for myself. When I say that, I mean bringing all of my focus, awareness, and energy back to myself and into my body. And despite what anybody else in any given environment is going through, which previously, you know, I, uh, I didn't have boundaries, so I just allowed myself to be unnecessarily consumed by everyone else's energies and emotions. Now, with boundaries, I'm safe within myself, and I don't have to worry about what anybody else is thinking or feeling, or if they're having a, you know, if, if, they're, if they're just not okay. Like, it's not my shit. It's not my responsibility. <laughs> I can hear so many people uh, saying, that's so selfish. No. Just no. It's not. Um, it's a very healthy thing to be healthy, safe, and stable in one's own frame, and that's where I'm headed towards, and I'm just very excited for that because I've never experienced life in the space of awareness that I'm in now before, ever. Um, I looked for safety in other people, and the other people were not safe, so you can't get safety from people that are not safe. <laughs> um, stability, of course, as well. You can't get stability from people that are not stable. So this is why it's really important to create this within the self. Like, very important. Um, because when you, when you can create that for yourself and actually have that and be self-sufficient within that, it just it, it changes everything. So, and the other thing I'm looking at, too, is just, um, I mean, the more I do this, it's just, it's just the reality of the matter. Like attracts like. That's, that's all that it is. So the more I do this, the more I heal and integrate, the more I'm going to attract based on that, right? And it's so interesting to me, too, you know, like, healthy, safe, and stable dynamics previously, when I wasn't healthy, <laughs> safe, or stable, those dynamics didn't look interesting to me. They didn't. They looked boring to me. If it wasn't chaotic, it was boring. If it wasn't unpredictable, it was unfamiliar. Now I'm looking at it, and I understand what everything means. It's really cool. It's really awesome. So yeah, really, um, the degree to which a person, in my, in, 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 uh, in my own case, the, de the degree to which I heal and integrate the better my life gets, the better, God, the better I get as a person, the better my relationships get. That's just the way that it is. And, you know, it's interesting, too, because the more I heal, like, I'm, I'm realizing, and sometimes I wonder if, like, I go too far with it, but, like, the more that I heal, I'm realizing just how, like, I don't know, like, people are really unhealthy. Like, really unhealthy. There's a lot of emotional immaturity out in society. I think that I made a video either yesterday or the day before about this, but, like, there's a lot. A lot of people did not get their needs met, their emotional needs met as children. 
and they turned out emotionally immature. And it's just like... No. <laughs> um, you see it everywhere. You really do. So that's where I'm at. It's exciting. Uh, I'm excited to continue to heal and integrate and to just see where this goes. It's going to be fun.